Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm sharing 10 timeless style tips from fashion icons we all know and love. I am so excited for this video because as I mentioned, these style tips are classic and timeless and they're never gonna go out of style. They worked like a charm for these amazing, stylish, fashionable six fashion icons. Uh, most of them are no longer with us except for one. There is one person still alive, but I really hope you enjoy this video. Let's get started with the very first fashion icon who happens to probably be my favorite of them all. I've just always been partial to this person and it is Princess Diana, which I feel like in recent months, she's actually grown a little bit more in popularity just because of the show, The Crown. Princess Diana is obviously very well known for being the people's princess. She was the princess of Wales. She was married to Prince Charles. She is the mother of Prince Harry and Prince William. Um, but unfortunately she did pass away in 1997 by a tragic car accident. So anyway, I'm sure so many of you know that already, but she was also very well known for her fashion sense. One of the main things that she loved to incorporate into her style every day was actually statement sleeves. And she's actually, um, she's been in interviews talking about it, saying that the reason she loves statement sleeves is because they kind of draw the attention towards uh, the arms and then it makes everything else look smaller. So if you notice on this shirt, the sleeves are a little bit bigger and then in turn, it tricks the eye into making your waist look a little bit smaller. So this shirt and this top is actually from Walmart. This video is not sponsored. Um, I'm just pulling out items from my closet, but I got this shirt from Walmart months and months ago. It's probably not even available anymore, but I still wear it. I love it. And I just love how it does in fact kind of make my waist look a bit smaller. It draws the eye downward and the statement sleeves are just wonderful. The next style tip again comes from Princess Diana and it has to do with accessories, but it's not what you might think. She actually loved wearing accessories differently than everyone else. She would take necklaces and actually pull it up over her head and wear them as headbands, which I think is a really cool idea. So next time you wanna accent your hair, try, try a necklace instead. She also loved wearing necklaces backward. So this is another sweater. Um, it's actually not from Walmart, it's from Forever 21. Again, it goes to show you don't have to spend tons of money on clothes to look really stylish. But I love this sweater. It again has the statement sleeves we just talked about, but it's also open in the back. So what I did is I took a Miranda Fry necklace that I've had for years. I can link it down below, but it's really cool in the fact that you can wear it like I think nine different ways. So today I doubled it up as kind of like a choker in the front. And then if you notice in the back, it dangles uh, really pretty in the back. So wear your accessories differently. The next style tips come from Grace Kelly. So she coincidentally enough also turned into a princess, which I wasn't really planning that segue, but it kind of works out. So she's more known for um, being an American actress. She was very popular. She starred in many famous older movies, um, but then in 1956, she married a prince and she became the princess of Monaco. But she was also very, very stylish. And one of her biggest style tips was to incorporate pearls into your outfit. Now, some people love, some people hate pearls. Um, I actually quite like them, but I think there's different ways that you can incorporate them into your your style and look a little bit more luxurious. So the number one way and the way most people will just default to is, you know, a nice necklace. So you can do that. Maybe you don't love that. And if that's the case, try wearing, you know, a sweater. So I actually have two pearl embellished sweaters, both from H&M. And I've talked about embellishments before. Do I think this sweater is going to last me for decades? No, I feel like over time, they're gonna, it's gonna start to not look that nice. So I don't recommend spending tons of money on tops and sweaters with embellishments, but this was like, I don't know, like $18. Um, so this has really pretty pearl detail around the collar. I love it. I also have another H&M sweater that's different, um, but again, has pearl accents on it. You could also wear very subtle pearl earrings. So again, depending on your thoughts about pearls, there's still different ways to incorporate them into your outfits. The next style tip from Grace Kelly. Yes, guys, it's the red lip. I believe she was quoted saying the crimson lip can be everything. So I totally understand that a red lip 
is not for everyone. Um, I do think it is a color that really does look good on most people. It's more that people just are scared to take the plunge and actually wear a red lip. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. I'm gonna add this to my lips and you're gonna see that the entire outfit totally transforms. Okay guys, wish me luck. Maybe we can just speed up through this process. Sometimes I think, you know, actually wearing the red lipstick isn't that bad. It's really just applying it. You just have to take your time. So here we go. Woo! <laughs> Voila, here we are with my crimson red lip. It's definitely popping. Uh, so there's some really cool benefits to wearing a red lip. Just try it, just try it. It definitely makes your complexion brighter. It makes your teeth whiter. It makes your lips look fuller. Let's go ahead and take a look at the before and after. As I mentioned, all I did was add a red lip and maybe you prefer, you know, the more neutral lip and that's totally fine. That's usually what I wear too. But again, it's just to show you that this simple change can make a big difference. So let's take the advice of Grace Kelly, wear a red lip. The next stylish fashion icon needs no introduction. I'm sure all of you know exactly who she is, but she was an American actress, model, singer, sex symbol. Yes, it is Marilyn Monroe. So she definitely needed to be in this video. Um, she was also known for the red lip, very similar to Grace Kelly. Um, but she was also known for her tight, sexy dresses, which is not the style advice or the style tips that I'm actually giving you today because that's not the style advice she took herself. On a day-to-day -day basis, she was actually very well known for wearing loose clothing and making that look sexy. So today here I am just wearing a white blouse not tucked in with some baggy Amazon jeans. I love them. Um, but another thing that she would do is actually wear kind of the same color palette. So her color palette was white and black with tan and a red lip and occasionally a pop of like a subtle blue shade. So again, here I am just wearing white and there's a pop of blue with these denim jeans. I'll link these jeans down below. They are so comfortable, really well priced and they do come in a lot of different shades, but they're meant to look baggy and oversized. And then I decided to pair everything with a tan heel to again, bring in that color and then also bring in a touch of the feminine side to make it look a little more sexy. The next famous fashion icon, and let me tell you, this is a fashion icon, uh, was Gabrielle or Coco Chanel. She was a French fashion designer and founder namesake of the Chanel brand brand. Clearly there's tons and tons of style tips we could gather from her. And you probably are wondering why the heck I am wearing a bright purple sweater with a bright purple lip. Well, let me just tell you, she was known for saying so many amazing things, but one of the most iconic uh, phrases or quotes she's known for is saying the best color in the whole world is the color that looks good on you. So that inspired this, which I am, you know, a lover of neutrals. I feel like I gravitate towards all of the clothes that you've already seen me wear in this video, but there's something about this particular color that I have always loved. So here I am just wearing it in a sweater. Um, I threw on a matching purple lip. I'm not a fan of matchy matchy. Again, it's just showing you different ways to incorporate colors that you love. Uh, I also bought this Gucci bag, which granted it's not Chanel, but this is Gucci and it's one of my most favorite handbags that I own. Um, and yeah, it's not a color that I normally would go for, but there's just something so special about this bag and it's the color. So all of that to say is find a color and wear a color that looks good on you. Who cares what anyone else says? If you love the color and you think it looks good on your skin tone and complexion, wear it. So all of this color leads me to the next fashion icon who is still with us today, and it's Diana Ross. Oh, so I love her too. She's currently 76 years old and still rocking it. She is a singer. She was the lead singer of the Supremes, and then she went on to be unbelievably successful and kind of an icon in many categories, including fashion. She is so well known for her bright and bold colors and materials. She actually loves sequins and feathers and metallic. So if that is you, if you're somebody that doesn't necessarily fit into the box of like the classic timeless style tips,
tips, basically everything that I just said, I wanted to include Diana Ross just to show you that you can, in fact, wear bright, bold colors and materials like sequins and still look stylish. Now feathers, I don't know. Maybe you can pull it off. Maybe not. The next fashion icon we should definitely take some fashion advice from is Audrey Hepburn. She was or is another one of my personal favorites. I used to watch her so much when I was a kid. She was a British actress and she starred in so many famous movies like Breakfast at Tiffany's, Sabrina, My Fair Lady, the list goes on. But she was also incredibly stylish. So one of her fashion rules was always wearing a collared shirt. She thought that collared shirts were never going to go out of style. And it turns out she was probably right. So this is one of my favorite collared shirts. It is a silk blouse it's by Lily Silk. This isn't sponsored by Lily silk, but I do in fact love their collared blouses because it's silk. So it just looks a little bit more upgraded, a little bit more expensive. Um, but I love how it's not see-through. So you can really just grab it out of your closet and put it on and you instantly look a little more stylish. Just think back on Audrey Hepburn when you don't know what to wear. So the next Audrey Hepburn style tip is incorporating a small scarf like this one into your outfit. And I'm talking like a small one like this, not a big oversized winter scarf that you use to keep warm and bundle up. So this happens to be my favorite that I own and I will show you how to wear it. She would actually wear it in her hair. She would wear it around her, her neck. Um, she would also tie it around her waist as a belt and kind of use it to cinch her waist and make it look smaller. But I'm just gonna go ahead and put this around my neck. And like I said, there's different ways you can wear it. You could just uh, drape it slightly over and then tie it loosely just as like a nice little accent. You could also tie it around your neck a little bit tighter and drape it off to the side, which I think is really, really nice. Also, you could bring it down the center and make it look a little bit more masculine like a tie. So don't forget about the small scarf. It's a little bit unexpected and stylish. So those are 10 classic and timeless style tips that you can use when picking out your own outfits in your own closet. I will also try to link everything that I wore in the description box down below if you happen to be interested. And if you did enjoy this video, consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing if you are new. But otherwise, I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye.